Lolly. Okay, Lolly. Just this up. All right, seven all over, four guard down, head and ear. Use all. Oh, use all dog up stands for knee problem. Okay. All right, well, we better get to work because I know your coat is just a different kind of coat here. David, I don't have the cell phone over here to do a before picture, though. I don't know why you don't have the cell phone. I didn't grab it. No, I mean, I never brought it over here even the first off because my hands are full already. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It should just be a mandatory thing. Just mandatory. Okay, hold on now. I'm really excited. What's up, you guys? There's 53 of you out there. Make sure you smash the like button, hit share, and then continue watching for us. She's a cutie. Seven all over, four guard down the head. We've done a few different haircuts with her. If you've seen her in the past, you've noticed uh, there's chat issues, though, David. Uh, you'll know that in the last uh, grooms, we've always talked about her body and bone injury, not injuries, just genetic problems with her legs and feet. So I'm very aware of that. So the dog up stands come into great help in grooming her to give her just some assistance and the way that her bones move and bend. They're not normal. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do the seven all over and her coat is a little different. 199 donation, love you guys. Thank you for the 199 donation. Smash the like button, hit share. Those of you who donated on the last feed, thank you so much. It really gave me the, uh, the the, that inspiration to go ahead and say, you know what, let's do live on the next video. So those donations really play a part in what I do. I think, uh, uh, just want you to know you mean a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. She's just a little excited, um, which is okay. Her name is Lolly. I'm start, I always start at the base of the neck so I can bring my lines down. I'm going to hold that skin uh, taut so that you can try to create less lines. So there's not just too much you have to do after the bath. You create a bunch of lines, you're going to have to do all of it completely over after the bath. Remember, if you're going to try to do dogs quickly, so they're in and out, there has to be things that you sacrifice, and one of those things is making sure you do it right the first time. She's breathing pretty hard, and so every every move is a, a divot. So make sure you just kind of don't dig too, don't not too heavy on the clipper. Or you're going to get every every beat of uh, her heart here. I really want to give my left hand, a, my right hand a break, but I don't think I can groom completely with my left hand. Not the same way. This doesn't feel right. Let me try it on the other side. So this hand I'm doing this way, so then this way should be like that, right? Let's try that.
All right, so they're throwing down base next door already. I'm so ready to move locations, man. It just costs a lot of money to move. You guys hear that bass, dude? Seriously, like, really? Huh? What? I can't hear you, David. Talk louder. I want to say something to make sure I can hear it, man. There's too much going on. The clippers, the bass. I can't hear you muffling. Remember, I don't think. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to the. I can see a lot of urine stain, and uh, this is all new. And I see a lot of green, green right here. Uh. So she, her knee, to me, just watch, looking at her, it feels like I just, you know, you get that feeling. I think her knees are bothering her. So I'm going to use the dog up stand here and see if I can uh, get her, let this help support her a little bit. Okay. So she wants to rest a little bit. It's here. Make sense? Okay. All right, girl. So, like I said, um, I say things a lot, but there's a reason why I say it. Your groomer is seeing your dog much more often than the veterinarian would. So, this green, I caught that right away. Now I can see the urine area over here. I'm going to show you guys later the color. So, to me, I think she has urinary tract infection. And I'm not a vet, but I've been doing this a long time. I will bring it up. I will mention it. I'm going to try left handed, right? He is a the line. But I want to rest my shoulder just a little bit here. Shoulder's been bothering me. I still is. A lot of static, too. So the side is keeping the hair in the coat, so it looks real messy, but once we get the bath going, stuff like that, and her coat's pretty dirty. I can tell it's dirty in the sense of oil. That's why it's real clumpy and everything. So some of this will fix itself. Static is doing it as well. Keep that in mind.
Let me switch out my seven. I was using ultra ed, now I'm using a ceramic. You'll see it's not that big of a difference. Thanks, David Torres, for your donation. I appreciate you. Woohoo! Save that back there for last. It's really dirty. Oh, yeah, we're going to go look at this together before I clean it up real good. I'm going to let this help you, girl. I can smell it. And not that you can't smell urine, but this has never been the case before. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of drippy urine stuff going back there. So these are signs you need to be paying attention for the client and the health of the dog. So if it's a urine problem, if you got a urine problem, that's signs of other things. So let's try to catch it as soon as possible. Okay. All right, let me see here. She came in and she was excited, and so she's been panting. If you watch her other videos, it's pretty normal for her. There's no excessive excitement or anything. She just kind of does it the whole time. I want to say the very first room, she didn't do that, but I have to go back and watch. It's been a long time. But, you know, as the doc, every, what is it, every six months is one year, one year, one year to us is seven years to them. And six months, that's four, four, almost four years, right? That's how fast their bodies are aging. So if I've been grooming her, let's just say two years, that's like I've been grooming her 14 years already, right? All kinds of stuff's happening to her body. That's why they'll see a vet more than we see a doctor unless we have issues. They'll see a vet every year or every other year, right? The body's aging a lot faster. Alright, so we're going into a 10 blade with a four bar. Ah, shoot, drop that one. 10 blade with a four bar. Okay. That one dropped and it goes right into the sharpen pile. I don't mess with it again. I'm actually going to do a four guard down her legs because they don't want her feet looking shaved. So this is one way you can kind of 
We'll see what it, we, we'll see what it ends up looking like. I might have to touch up with a, a different blade, but I'm not shaving down her legs with the seven. It doesn't, it doesn't look the same thing, right? I think I'm gonna have to come back on the backside here though. It's just so thick, right? Oh, there you go, that's what I need. There you go. All right, real fast, let me just show you this so we can get to the bath. All right, on this side of her mouth, you can kind of see it right there. You see this green? Let me see here. Yeah, here. Okay, hold on, let me see. So here, you see all this? If you ha if you were here, you would see that it's like very green and yellowy. Okay. This is not so much green and yellowy, more reddish, okay? These are just signs, little signs that you're like, hmm. Now, right here, you can already see some stuff happening. I haven't even gotten in there. Let me zoom back. Okay, now. Let me get a paper towel. See how yellowy this is? This is not poop. This is where she pees from. See how yellowy this is here? See how there's urine here? Okay. All right. Let me take a picture. So I can show the pet parent before I shave it all off. Hey, hey, hey what's up? Hey, Doing great. It's our neighbor, man. We're over here. I was like, yeah, they're basing out again. <laughs> oh, not right now, but earlier, just a few minutes ago. I was like, oh, gosh, man. I'm on live right now, live stream. <laughs> That's the owner of the barbershop next door, you guys. We're on live stream right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for shopping with us. Okay, Appreciate you. Okay. Okay, man. His name's David, too. All right. This is the deal. So I'm using skim, skim, skim. You got to skim, skim. You got to get it out of there. I'm not going to leave it there. The, the smell is very strong. Skim, skim, skim. See, I'm not even down to the skin yet. I'm just getting chunks of hair out of my way so I can see what I'm working with. Remember yesterday we had this conversation about private parts. So, skim, skim, skim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, does it hurt? Better be safe than sorry. Okay, let's really get the, pop this out like that. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, this is really dirty. So it's never been like this. So yellow, 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 real strong yellow is like maybe a problem. I'm going to bring this to their attention. 
Who's going to do it, the vet or me? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I want to get all that out. It's very, it feels swollen in here. It's very red in there. Okay, you got to get it out, you guys. And uh, I'm going to recommend they check with the veterinarian, get a urine sample, make sure there's no uh, bacteria in there. It was there before I started, right? So it's not like, oh, you did it, DD. Did you? No. Matter of fact, I called it out. I was like, there's a problem here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lolly. Almost done. Well, she's looking back at me like, it's okay, Lolly. It's okay. It's okay. I'll come back and fix that. You do a 10 underneath here, clean all this out together. I'm going to come back, just re, 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 uh, remind me. I'm just going to come back with the, I'm going to do a 10 underneath here and I'll come back to finish it off with the seven later. Look at all that yellow, man. Oh, sorry, my bad. Look at all that yellow right there. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Would you mind doing the bath on her? Yeah. Okay, great. That will really help me. I'm going to sanitize my toilet. I'm ready. I'm going to let it go to the bath. Well, it should be this. Let me do her ears a little bit. I can't get a clean, clean uh, shake out.
static man. <clears throat> I feel like it's quiet. David Torres said, when I get down there, you might just fire fire me, but it's real. <laughs> this is quiet, you guys. Gary Torres said, shut up, David. Oh, when I was talking, she was shut up. Job is, man. What's wrong with people nowadays? Don't you guys think this job is pretty easy? Just have to make sure you keep the ears down. <laughs> Marta, Marta, I just went back and read your message. Marta says. I love, I'm obsessed with this channel. She works from home. So she's got this like basically on all day, 24 hours a day. <laughs> and she said her husband, I don't know, you probably read it, but her husband was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so I think that's funny as heck. Yeah, she's our gaming then. If we weren't gaming at night, I would probably have the same thing with a channel I love, if not my own channel, right? So when you watch your stuff back, when you record yourself and watch back, you're like, dang, Dee, Dee you were rude to that. You were rude to David. Dang, Dee, Dee, why are you such a pain in the ass? Dang, Dee, Dee you could have done, you know, you you evaluate yourself. So I don't mean it like I'm going to watch myself like that, but just watching, seeing it from a perspective of watching it rather than doing it is educational to me too. All right, I'm going to take uh, you guys out here with me for a minute and really talk to you. Hey, <laughs> All right. If you don't know David and I real well, no relationship is perfect. Y'all that have been married 50 years, y'all know what I'm talking about. David and I work together, live together, game together, groom together. He doesn't groom, but I mean, obviously he's doing everything else but grooming. Vacation so, together. Vacation together when we do vacation. It can be excruciatingly painful to hang out with your significant other for that amount of time. So you, we bicker, we um, laugh, we uh, prank each other. I prank probably more than I'm he gonna does. Start. I'm going to start. But what you see, uh, it's just that's that's what happens. You you cannot do what we do without having to butt heads every every day. So we have a joke, you know, I will say, David, you're fired. You know, sometimes I really do mean it and he doesn't leave. <laughs> so, but if you see us on. What? <laughs> if you see us on a real level, I guess it's real all the time because it's, it's we don't hide very much. There is some private times that you guys don't see. And so you can't really judge us. You don't know what happens when we're not on live camera. Although half of more than half of our life is on camera right now. I'm not, I'm not saying that's a great thing or a not great thing, but you all see it quite a bit. 
Um, so when we bicker, it's the truth. I mean, you can't work, live, vacation, travel. You can't do all that with your spouse and not have like where you're like, hey, you know. I think it as, a, as, a, as we don't bicker on camera. So that's um, a good tool for you guys to learn how to bicker on camera. So that's um, a good 12, 14 hours that we don't bicker. Then we sleep for eight. Game and for six. Game for four. So that's already 26 hours. <laughs> I don't know. Where do we have We squeezed in an argument this morning, though. Where do we have time for arguments? Okay. So things happen. Uh, it's real life. It's not going to be golden. It's not going to be perfect. You end up having to choose who you're going to tough it out with. And I, I finally get it. I finally understand that because there was some people I dated that I would not tough out what they were doing to me. I would not tough it out. No, you know what? No, you're not doing that. Right. So you pick, he's picked what he wants to tolerate with me. I've picked what I tolerate with him. Do I fire him every day? Almost. Do I kick him out sometimes? Sometimes. Is he still there? Yeah, he doesn't leave. Okay, so um, so you just pick and choose. He's picked what he's chosen, and I've picked what I've chosen, and then it's still a struggle. So don't think it's not a struggle, okay? So with that in mind, let's move on. Um, <laughs> it, it, there are great times that you might be missing. If you're not watching the gaming channel, if you're not watching uh, some of the Instagram posts that we do on My Favorite Groomer, you're probably missing out like, wow, they do have a blast together. They do have this, some serious funny moments. So y'all that are Melissa P, you know, Callie, you guys are watching everything we do. You know, you kind of know, right? But let me just remind you, you don't know all of it. There's still a portion of our lives not online. All right, so going into what I want to educate you here is what, when, and why, how. So the urine thing. As a groomer, I, I, I want to just go register for veterinarian school. Boom. If it wasn't $150,000 in, you know, et cetera, two years, two years of full-time schooling at minimal to go and get qualified, not even in the United States. You can't even get that kind of qualification that fast in the United States, but to actually go I would love to do that because I'm borderline seeing the things happen more often than a veterinarian, in my opinion. I think a groomer can be witness of things evolving and before it gets to where it is a full-blown problem. For instance, this one. So I groom Lolly about every three months. They're booked for the entire year. So I haven't seen her in three months. A lot of things can happen in three months. I'm about to start blow drying. It's going to turn our feet into it. You guys are not going to be able to really hear everything I have to say. And bring you all into the bathroom. It's loud in here. It's not going to work. I really want you guys to hear what I have to say with this. Come over here. Stretch this wire all the way out. Okay. Okay, so what's important about Lolly is three months ago, she didn't have a urine problem. She didn't have all that urine sticking to her coat. She wasn't stenchy. I couldn't smell that urine stenchy. She didn't have the green thing here on her face. So I'm sitting here going, hmm, I'm seeing this. I need to take note, make a record. Write everything down, write everything down. So today I'll recommend a veterinarian. Um, they have a veterinarian, probably a great one because she's already got the genetic problems, right? So I'll say, hey, uh, I took pictures, have facts, have data, have proof. And I'll say, I recommend this. This is what I think it is. I'm not a veterinarian, but this is my opinion. It smelled funky. It looked funky. It was yellow and all that in the rear end. It was yellow and all that by her mouth. So all that adds up. Now, over the years, if you watch... Um, I think it was a cocker spaniel and people were saying it wasn't a cocker, sp cocker spaniel and i really got into her private parts and she had i could smell it it was strong and i knew and i knew it but i said hey i need you to go to the veterinarian she definitely from my opinion had a bladder infection and she did she had to get on meds so there's some things i have seen over six, 16 18 years i've been running my own business for 16 i think but I've been a groomer for 18. I did the math the other day. I was like, man, I, I'm saying this wrong. I've been grooming for 18 years, but I've been running my own business for 16. So you see a lot of things. If you, especially if you've worked as a groomer at a veterinarian, think about that. You're right there. You know, you're seeing stuff and sending them right into the veterinarian office saying, hey, this is something, and you catch a lot of things. 
So why wouldn't you be doing that now in your business? Get a relationship with local veterinarians, about three or four, not just one. Know their prices, average. What's an average spay or neuter? What's an average veterinarian cost to with each vet to have them, um, you know, rabies, bordetella, and DHPP? What's the average? So you know where to send your clients. What side of town? Da, 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 da. So you have that relationship. So then, then today, I saw that. I'm, I recognize it. I'm going to brief the client. But why? Why did it happen? So, you know, you could say, well, the last time she visited you, you must have done something to get her to have that problem. Yeah, that could be true. I could have had a dirty tool. I could have had, you know, that could be true. But this could also be true. Something she's eating in her diet, uh, her environment, um, peeing, you know, outside in a, the rock, like something came through, it rained today, yesterday, a storm. The storm carries stuff through your backyard. It sure does on mine. I recorded it. I'm like, we need to fix the drainage. It's a freaking lake in my backyard. And my dogs go out there to pee. It has everything from my neighbor's yard in my backyard. Could have been what's in the grass. It could have been allergies, what was in the grass two months ago. And she peed, you know, dogs squat to pee, right? And she just, everything touched the ground, whatever. There's so many reasons why. It could be the water she's drinking. They don't change their water enough. They, they change their water too much, the type of water it is. Uh, who knows? So all kinds of things. What I can see with the green is that she's cleaning herself a lot. And she can't get ahead of it because it's an infection, probably. So this is where she probably needs to get on meds. So we won't know until they tell me, hey, Didi, we did go to the vet. She did have this. She didn't have that. So we'll know if they do go to the vet and they let me know. Who's to say if they're going to get back with me and say, hey, Didi, that really did this and that, right? Who knows? But we'll hope and I'll ask them to get back with me. I always do. So where did it happen? Her licking her own self and causing her own urinary tract infection or bladder infection is possible as well. The bacteria in a dog's mouth, the bacteria in our mouth, bacteria alone, depending on the bacteria, can cause issues for all of us, animals and people. Where did it come from? How long is it? I'm glad I haven't seen her in three months. I'm glad I'm catching it now. What if it was like another year or two years and someone really didn't pay attention? They just groomed the dog and went home. Never even smelled the difference. Never even noticed the difference. Put two and two together. Yellow. Yellow is not a good color on a dog. Yellow is not a good color in a scab or wound on a human. Yellow is not a good color. If you're seeing that in the eyes, the ears, the hiney, the sanitary, the mouth, it's not a good color. Yellow. Neither is brick red. Okay. Tar. Not, same thing, not a good color in all those areas. It's telling you something. You got to read behind the lines. Okay, I hope this answered some of your questions and taught you some things to look out for with your pets when it comes to the color yellow and when it comes to something that looks like that in the urinary area. All right, let's get back to work. You guys learn something? And remember, I'm not trying to be a veterinarian. I have a, a wall of veterinarians I send people to. I call, I have veterinary, I have over 20, 30 veterinarians saved in my phone. Depends on what, what part of the state you're coming from. Okay. All right. Whew. Thanks for the purple hearts. <laughs> All right. Um, let me ask you guys how, a question. Let me see here. I feel like, oh no, it's just the lens. I was like, man, that looks like a piece of white hair in the lens. Um, how many of you all? Are pet owners or pet groomers that have have experience or have gone through where your dog or a client's dog has had a urinary or bladder infection? Say I, 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 I have. Follow for I. Mary Sheldon, I like that. She said, I, that's a lot. Look, Renee, Mary, Janice, Lynn, Angela, Dee Dee. Uh, I put down I, at least five. I hope it went up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. So it's not unordinary. Okay, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Same thing. It's the same thing. So then you look at yourself. How many of you all personally as a human have had a bladder 
or a urinary tract infection. I'm going to put me too. Me too. Okay. I'm going to put me too. Hold on. Personal, but it's true. So do you remember when you had a urinary tract infection, a bladder infection, something like that, something in that area. For me, as a teenager, it was excruci excruciating painful. I remember my first one, I was, I can remember it to this day. I was sitting next to my friend. We were at the cafeteria in the lunchroom. I was sitting down and I was crossing my legs and I thought, I looked at, and I thought to myself like, this is, whatever it is, it's painful. I, I didn't want to, right? I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to do anything, but I eventually went to the nurse and I said, I, I'm having, my dad had to come get me and take me in and all it was was a bladder infection and probably because of every kind of like foo foo smelling shower gel i was using that's all it was the way i was cleaning my body and what was leaving behind on my on my private areas caused a bladder or urinary tract infection so at that time all the foo foo apple blah 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 all that stuff that smells good you should not be cleaning anywhere down in your private areas with that kind of stuff. I didn't know that as a teenager, no one told me. You just learn hard lessons. From that point on, it had triggers. The reason why I'm bringing this up, because it's personal, is because I can only imagine, if I don't find this problem and fix it, what that dog feels, right? Think about that for a minute. Because it, to me, was excruciating. I was like sitting there in my leisure class. I was like, what do I do? What is this feeling? I don't even know what this is, you know? So... It can happen, and I don't think there's no pain involved, okay? All right, thanks for sharing. Thanks for agreeing uh, your personal your personal stuff. I'm putting my personal stuff out there, but just to give you the idea of what it could feel like. Dog's not telling me if it's painful, right? Dog's suffering. Man, I remember, man. And that, to me, it opened up a whole, like, for me, that moment opened up a regular bladder infection uh, until I was in about what I didn't see that it, until I was in about my late 20s early like 26 27 I finally got it I finally stopped using and I, I finally got it in my early, mid 20s to late 20s who knew I had I, I think I had six to eight bladder infections in my life when I was younger thank goodness I had a dad in the a military because I would he would have been pissed at me I remember if I broke my glasses, he was pissed at me. So Angela Bryce, don't even Angela Bryce, you like you're coming in. Angela's guys. coming in for Maltese, Malt Yorkie grooming in May from San Antonio, and you're donating to me. Thank you, Angela. Woohoo, girl! Thank you. That's extreme. Thank you. Oh God. Okay, let's get done because I got another pet coming in back to back. <laughs> Good job, babe, thanks. Okay. Get our seven back out here. Let me see if we get this lady some support. <laughs> this is exactly like right at the level of where I need it to be. Anything higher is like a, like whoop. Okay, that's a good place, right?
I'm going to come back here with that. Leave my seven here. Want to get your lines right, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, don't spend a lot of time here. We got to come back with the 10 anyway, so we're going to come back in a few minutes. Let's get our... Okay, hold on a second. Okay, bring this back under here. Just got a little bit of support there for her. This is loose, so we can move around that. Kind of fade that out, don't go straight down. We don't want to shave with the seven. I've done that before, you know what? She's real bony. Like, if, if I could just let you touch her and feel her bones, you can see how you can feel how stiff they are, and they're not like the other dogs because of the issue. There's a name for it. Um, I, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I'm aware of that. So now I want to help her, you know, give her support, even though she wants to stand the whole time, it's still wear, wearing her out. I know somebody right now is probably thinking she needs water. She won't drink water right now. So the, the best thing I can do is just move fast. Because she's in the tub. A lot of dogs that drink water will drink it in the tub while you're bathing them because it's right there. No. I mean, she doesn't, that's not what she does. So the best thing I can do is just move quickly so we can be done. So just imagine if it was any other situation, like an eight hour a day for her, it'd be really tough on her, right? to keep stepping on that hair it's going to get on her pads and then it's going to make it like i have to really brush her feet before i can touch it i'm going to try to keep the hair out of the way all 
All right. Most dogs here, you can actually do this. You can't do that with her legs. It won't let you, she, her bones won't let you move them like that at all. All So good, Lolly. You're doing so good. All right, switch up. Get your tin blade out. Come do the armpits. I know, I know, I know. It's real hard. Kind of weird, right? Skim, skim, skim. Nothing too heavy. I'll come do the back first. Let me do this other arm here. You see? Straight out. She can't bend it. All right, we'll do sanitary last. I'm going to show you what we're working with over here. Okay, let me bring her up here. Really hairy down here. Sure, if I can get in here like this, just get the best you can, clear it out. Good girl. Can't bend it at all. Get the best you can. It's not going to be perfect. She can't. Her bones don't allow for it. Okay. Woo, okay. Let me see here. All these cords. All right. We're almost done, girl. See, her sanitary should be this clean, okay? This is clean right here. See? There's no yellow. See how red it is? See how red that is? It's. Can you guys see that? Come on, camera. Work with me here. See, okay, here, there's no more yellow. It's a, uh, it's all come on a flashlight. There's no more yellow, but here you can see it's real red. I don't know if you can tell it's really red. 
There's still some yellow way up in there, but it's clean. There's none of that seepage happening. That's what you want to see, this stuff. So if I didn't take a picture, then, come on, baby. Let me come over here. Doing the camera and grooming at the same time is not easy. Let me just tell you, this is frustrating me right now. I should not have to do this right now. Okay. If this was not taking a picture of it, then when I got her to show the pet parent, there's no evidence. So you've got to take a picture. As soon as you get done cleaning, it looks great, right? It's all gone. Evidence is gone. Same thing with an ear infection. Either take a picture or just don't do anything until the pet parent sees it and then say, okay, now this is our options. All right, get your floor guard out. We're gonna wrap it up. This is uh, we're, we're about to finish live now, so get ready. To say goodbye. Come on, baby. From here, you can fade it, fade it back, fade it back this way with the reverse. Come on now, Lolly. Look forward. You were looking forward a second ago. No, no, don't like that. That's your hair, girl. My arm is starting to really bother me. I also going to move it back down. My arm is doing it too much of a reach. Little things like that over time, it's like too much. Is you got to analyze it. All right, get your forty blade on. 
we're going to sweep the table and then adjust her so that we can do her So we got the small one. We got sorry about the large one here. Okay, that's good there. That's good. We're gonna have the small one right here for every foot. Okay. David, did you do her ears? He said no. Okay. All right. Let me think. What are we doing here? Yep, that's gonna be okay. We'll see if I need that one. But we're gonna put it. Can you see? This is gonna really help you. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Let me get my 40. Let me get the 40, but like, okay, hold on. Hold on. Is that too high here? Okay. for a second. Right, it up, B. You want to rest? Okay, okay. I got you. I got it, girl. You rest? Check your nails. Good girl.
Sorry, you guys, it's really serious right now. So give me a second, I'll be with you in a minute. David, I'll need some ear cleaner then. Um, uh, I don't have any. Uh, it, mine is the empty bottle back there, but I'm wondering. I guess I'll tell you later. You're gonna have to wash your hands and we'll find out. Talk to the client. I can't. No, I don't need your help here. I mean, leave that there. Give that to me. But that's priority. Because I mean, with two people and one dog is not necessary. The year should have been done in the bath. She needs to sign the form. She needs to. I'm not going to even talk to you right now. Like I said, he's talking about having good help. No comment. She still needs to sign the form. No, she did the form with me last time, right? You came in. Okay, you're just uh, dropping off. And uh, did we discuss the haircut on the. Did we talk about the haircut that I wrote it down? David, what David needs to do right now, he needs to pull your file out and look at it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So the new client file is on a clipboard. No, okay. but he should know this. This is not nothing new. This is not a new procedure. That's why it's frustrating for me. Forgive my frustration. It's like a new employee or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wrote that down. Definitely, definitely going to do that. Oh, is he mad at? Okay. Okay, there's no choice. He'll get a short haircut today, yeah? Yeah. I think, uh, I don't, I'm not looking at the file right now because I have this dog on the table, so maybe I wrote that down. Maybe we talked about that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, sounds good. Um, we'll be doing live grooming on our YouTube channel so you can watch it. Am I doing live grooming? No, no, maybe not. I'm not sure. What am I talking about? I'm flustered. Hmm. Flustered because he doesn't know what he's doing out there. No, you don't. You don't have this. You do not have it, or I would not have to say anything. Do you put him on a top cage? I got this. 
this. I was just uh, verifying her name first before because last time we had this uh, the, the other lady from the other You room. didn't know where the files were though. Yes, I did. I just pulled it up. No, you were looking in the purple book. This one's higher than that. Mm -mm. All right, you guys. When Michelle P said, please go live, you guys are going to need more donations. <laughs> That's a very, very matted dog, girl. I, I really don't know, man. You're gonna have to get a 20 people donating a dollar or something. You guys, I'm, te I'm telling you guys, I, as soon as I picked the dog up, I'm like, oh, this dog is mad. It feels like it has bumps everywhere. I'm sorry to say, I don't like doing that kind of dog grooming live. But it's up to you guys. It's really, the, it really, it's in your hands. Oh gosh, you're so adorable. Okay, I already did the clone. Everything got done. I'm gonna do an after picture, call it a day. New client is here. It's extremely matted Maltese. I don't know if I'm gonna go live. Between now and when I close out this feed is really gonna dictate whether I go live because this new client, no, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, let's get a picture here. It's difficult. <laughs> Plus, I got this counter part over here. If you're on our gaming channel, you know my character already shakes her head a lot. Okay, we're going to come down, sweetie. One last view, right? One last view. We're about to cut off, so. This is loose. Good. Yeah, yeah. Look at the camera here, Lolly. Look, yeah. Let's be a good girl. You're such a good girl. Ooh. All right, we're going to bring her down. I don't know if Dad's outside or not, if he's watching. Don't go nowhere. All right? All right, we'll be right back. I'll be right back. Great, man. Matted? Oh, gosh. My heart just is like, oh, great. Okay. I'm going to bring you down. Come up. Down on the ground. Up. Come on. Come on. This way. You have to come this way. Oh, no, no, no. What? Are you serious right now? What? Get in there, girl. Uh, you see him? Are you serious right now? Bro, that's how my mom's dog's gonna be looking. Too. He has his back face to me. That's how mad he is. I'm very upset. I'm just so you don't even wanna you don't even wanna see this dog. Oh my goodness. I, I'm just this is done, man. I'm gonna go get the file and I'm gonna tell you. I never went back to him. Let's see what the let's go look at the file. Let's just let me just get my facts going here. Oh, 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 I don't know what you got to say, but that's how my mom's dog is going to be looking. <laughs> Y'all, your donations are speaking loud and clear right now. If you want me to go live, I'm going to see the, the last 10 minute donations where it is. I really don't want to do it. Really, just don't want to do this. All right, live. really. If, if we don't get that much donations, I'd rather just upload the video. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, the time is uh, time is uh, valuable like that. Did you pull her file? Yeah, right here. Oh no. Who is this? No, I did it. 
No, they weren't. This is the one right here. See, you're so messed up, man. That one's 11 to 12. No, what? This, this, this file. Not this file. Where? Oh. Okay, this is the next step. Okay. Hang that back up. Put that on there. This one's here. This one's normal. Yeah. And then I'm one. gonna and you should please say something about the your DD will t tell you. I'm gonna be grooming. So you that's why you you're gonna do this. Well, you have to put well, uh, Oh my goodness.
Okay, hold on. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Dad's picking up Lolly right now. Oh gosh, man. This stuff won't get ready to go. Just. Still ready to fire this phone. Okay. Same phone. Cash? Cash or charge? Charge. Charge. So the difference is in grooming, we've never seen that color and stuff back there before. So I say in those pictures, mm -hmm. of, so I think personally, it's urinary or bladder infection. Okay. And I really got in there and not that you have to go back and watch the whole video, but okay. I mean, it, it is really there. Okay. Uh, I cleaned it all out. So now if I didn't show, take pictures and have proof for you, it's all clean. You wouldn't even be able to tell. Yeah. But the drainage and the green here. Yeah. That tells me she's like probably cleaning herself and it's it's doing its own thing here. Okay. okay? So uh, just call your vet and see how much it'll be just to get a urine test. They'll just have her pee and test it and then they'll know. Yeah. Um, if that's what it is, will you let me know? Yes. If it is. Okay. Because it is because the things I'm seeing and smelling and the color of it that gives me that trigger of like, hey, this is a warning. Okay. Good. Okay. Let me know. Got it. Okay. That'll be cool. And then also, uh, remember you know who your veterinarian is? It's a golden triangle. Okay. Um, I don't know their pricing is, um, so near 100%. They're like not 50, they're like 70, 75-ish. Sorry for that check. Okay. Okay, but price range. Yeah, that works. Dollar bill. I've caught it, we talked about it on the live feed today. There's a lot of, a lot of people that had experienced it. Uh, I've caught it about six times in my career, so I kind of see it and get used to kind of seeing the color, the smell, so I'm hoping that's what it is, and it's easy fix when you get yeah. antibiotics in most cases, but it is a warning of some other things on or how they're functioning, so okay. it'll be good to, to get a test, and if she's in there, depending on when your last blood test was done, yeah. um, you might get a full blood panel, not the one you get in-house, the one they say, okay, it's a little bit more, but we got to send out for it, and that really tells us a lot about her organ health. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Is this good information when you get it, when I tell you these things? Yeah, Is it absolutely. good? Okay. Yeah, it's not like sure. never saying something. No, 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 it's I, like, wow, I no, wish no. I'd known, right? Right. Yeah. Cool. That's good. That makes me feel like, okay, it's worth <laughs> worth all mentioning it. Be all the information we can get. All right, girls. You got it? Come on. Yeah? Yeah. Here, here's your leash. Oh, gosh. She loves taking her leash with her. She's uh, holding her leash in her right. mouth. It's so cute. You get your leash. You got your leash. Oh, she's such a blessing. I just love her, man. I just ah! every time. You never change. Thank you so much. You Thank Appreciate you. Yeah. We'll Thanks. see you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Did you guys capture that when she has her leash in her mouth? It's the cutest thing, man. She actually, I took her out of the cage, and she looked back at me like, "Give me the leash." <laughs> oh, she's just something else. <sighs> I was gonna look at the time. I don't have a lot of time to chit chat. So I saw a lot of people donating. Let's do it. We're going to do the Maltese. Without your donations, I would just not do it. It's just too much. And uh, anything can happen on a matted, aggressive dog. This dog, I, she said, is not aggressive. So I'm not thinking it's going to be aggressive. But when you have a matted dog, you never know. What was that dog's name, that Mal Maltese mix that we did? She wasn't mean at all, and she was matted to the gill. Uh, what was her name? can't even think of it right now. Huh? Winnie. Winnie. If you guys have watched Winnie a long time ago, she hasn't come in in a long time because Cynthia can't babysit the owner of Winnie. You can't change what people are doing. God knows what that dog looks like right now. I haven't seen her in at least two years. So it is what it is. You know, um, she was not mean at all. And she was matted to the gill. I mean, the gill. So with your donations, I'm uh, not able to, I really want to go back up. I do want to recognize the donations. So I guess I'm just going to have to hustle up mom. Okay. So I called the mom, which is 
I'm going to mute you guys because there's private things here. If you want to run a business and you want to know prices and you want to know everything about what I do, you're going to have to get coaching. So not everything is on. So I'll mute if I'm sometimes cashing someone out or because I hear people's comments. I wouldn't pay that or whatever. Yeah, you wouldn't pay that. But somebody has to do the work I do. And you might not be able to find somebody to do that work. And whatever that dog comes in like or acts like reflects on how much the dog groom is. And that should go across the board. You want to perm someone's hair or cut their hair. There's a different price for each one. You want to groom a dog. You want to groom a dog that's going to bite you the whole time. It's a different price for each one. Okay. So let's go back and recognize a few people here that really said, hey, Dee, Dee I want to see this Maltese live. Without you guys doing this, I wouldn't be going live on the next feed. So thank you for your donations. It goes a long way. It, it changes how I work. Uh, there's a lot more to it, but I'm not going to go into that. You guys know why. Um, Dear God, please help this Madden Maltese about to be groomed by Didi. Please bless Didi and give her the patience and knowledge to help the dog to have a healthier life. Thank you for all support donations. Oh, thank you. That was great. Okay, so I'm scrolling, scrolling. Okay, scrolling, scrolling. I'm looking for the donations. Scrolling. Y'all been talking a minute, man. I've been over here checking people out for a minute, I guess. Melissa P. Okay, okay, really mad about it. This and that, this and that. Scrolling. This is taking a long time. I'm not sure here. I don't know where they're at now. Okay, okay, we're getting into some. I thought I saw these earlier. Okay, I'm not looking with it. Scrolling. Scrolling. I'm not seeing the donations, but I saw them earlier. I'm getting so hungry, man. Okay, I remember the muted comment. Here we go. Melissa P. Oh my gosh. She's thank you so much, Melissa P. She said, did he do this? <laughs> okay, Melissa P really wants to see this. Who else really wants to see this? Thank you so much. Marta, thank you so much for your donation. Melissa P has huge donations, man. She's a huge supporter. Barbie, lots of hearts there. Um, Ellen, thank you for your donation. S-E-K donation. Uh, yeah, here. Oh. Makes it easier for you. Look at, look at this, man. I can't read that. Zoom in. Okay. Melissa P, $50. Woohoo! Marta, two bucks. Ellen, $20 in that foreign exchange. $9.99 from LAH. It's two bucks in the foreign exchange. Two bucks from Marta. Thank you. Um, is that Marta? No, from Ellen. Two bucks from Ellen. Melissa P, 20 bucks. Melissa P, oh my goodness. Two bucks. Oh my God, this is too much, man. Melissa P is like live, 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 live. Um, that's, that's cool. That's cool, man. Makes me just want to do an exclusive live. Exclusive for Melissa P, man. That's what we should do. Melissa P, we're going to do some, some stuff for you. Um, she's got bonus points. So Melissa P, every can donate a dollar amount. Okay, LAH. M Michelle, oh, this keeps changing, and this is very annoying because I'm in a hurry. Martha donated 10 bucks still. Martha, 10 bucks. Melissa P, oh, my gosh. All I'm seeing is Melissa P. Come on, you guys. There's... There's 89 of you watching, man. You gotta go you got 30 I got to go. That dog. I got 30 minutes to shave that dog? Yeah. Thank you for your donations. I don't have time to call you out. We are shutting this feed down. We are doing another feed. It's not going to pop up under notifications because that's three feeds today. So you're going to just get on the My Favorite Groomer dashboard and uh, watch for that to go live video and then go uh, watch it. Okay. Thank you so much. The only reason, man, Melissa P., and the many of you who donated, that's why I'm doing this next live feed. That's that's what it takes to really convince me. And I appreciate you. Okay, so now I'm behind. All right, love you guys. And myfavoritegroomer.com and dogupstand.com. We'll see you in a few. Okay, my goodness, look at this dog. Oh, my goodness.